Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Can I just say holy shit? I was planning on jumping on the hate train at some point, but didn't expect to make this video at midnight, not 20 minutes after watching Nero Cinema's latest video on this topic. So just to start us off, I highly recommend checking out his video. It's linked down in the description. Uh, give credit where credit's due. Uh, because, you know, certain YouTubers don't do that shit. I'm looking at you, Dalek. Uh, in the, his video, though, uh, he linked a website called codtracker.com. It's a pretty popular one. It keeps track of all your stats in-game, your actual kill-to-death ratio, all win-loss ratios. It's really good. Check it out. But, uh, to be completely honest, I haven't looked at my stats for Cold War other than just in the in-game barracks. Uh, because personally, I don't think of myself as much of a multiplayer YouTuber as much as I uh, do for zombies, which is odd this year because I've actually been enjoying multiplayer. I think the zombies is fantastic. I think it's the best version of zombies to come out to date, but only having one map really kind of kills the replayability for me. That being said, his average KD ratio was 1.46 in this year's COD game. And I was just blown away by that. I know for certain that he's better player in multiplayer, right? Like, that's his job. Uh, and yes, he definitely is. Um, I had been looking at my barracks, which was a limbs to death ratio, which includes assists, which I like the point system for that within the game, but it kind of makes reading your stats weird and fucking annoying. Um... But, I mean, I pulled up my stats on COD Tracker and I have a 1.17, which is not good at all. I don't think of that as good. That is just above average. You're getting literally one and a fifth kills every death that you have. That's what my stats tell me. That's awful. Previous COD games, I normally push for just below a 2.0. I'm not, yet again, I'm not super good at multiplayer. I play zombies and I do challenge runs on zombies because I'm not brave enough to go for round 500 like some of those other crazy people. But apparently 1.17 is good enough to land as the top 26% of the world player base, which is just insane. I am not that good. I am definitely not top 26%. At least I thought so. Apparently here I am thinking, barely keeping positive as a guy that primarily plays zombies, and I am that high on the leaderboard. I, th I, I just think that's insane. Skill-based matchmaking in this game is ridiculous, and if you don't think it exists because they haven't flat out told you it exists, you are dead wrong i ended this game that i'm showing you on screen with a 12 and a half kd i did really good was not expecting it but i completely blew all my previous games out of the water i was really happy like that's just once in a blue moon then i transitioned to my next game and the skill-based matchmaking the matchmaking system whatever you want to call it expected me to pull that shit again and be the only carry on our team. I'm a midliner. I don't rush. I suck at rushing. If you've seen any of my gameplay on streams, you know my hands shake, especially when I'm in a gunfight really close with someone. I'm better holding lanes. And the fact that the skill-based matchmaking is like, oh yeah, this kid got lucky once. Let's actually throw, throw him against a full team of opponents that are completely competent and make the rest of his teammates all but one completely useless. It's bullshit. It's a setup for failure. Uh, there are some leakers uh, that the Bobs in the Ivory Tower, also known as Activision, are discussing what to do about skill-based matchmaking or, or skill-based matchmaking or SBMM. Let's just say the majority of player base is concerned about the amount of water they're having to consume to sweat so much in public lobbies. All I want is a ranked game mode. That's all I want. That way, we can go back to the old days, go back to MW2, the glory days of actually being able to get nukes. I'm not that good. But I would like to eventually get another nuke. The last one I got was MW3. It was years ago. Granted, I took a break from Call of Duty. And 
Granted, I mainly play zombies, but I'd like to say I'm good enough to get a nuke. I got several in MW2. I got one in MW3 before I quit that game. <sighs> if you want my opinion, I think it's possible that Activision will lessen the skill-based matchmaking as in in a statistical and hypothetical point of view, rather than being matched with people between average KDs 1.33 to 1.37, uh, when you're a 1.35, I know that's a lot of numbers, just bear with me, it'll be closer to a range of 1.3 to a 1.4. Hopefully that's something we go to, that way they can appear appease their stockholders, and there's a little bit of skill-based matchmaking, but there's a lot more variance. Obviously, that was a hypothetical. I don't know what the exact numbers are, so don't come at me with that. Uh, which, I, I think changing it like that will be a step in the right direction. But I do not think that we'll ever truly see the return of the glory days of MW2 unless we see a change in leadership in Activision. Treyarch is not the bad guys. Unfortunately, if this title was solely made by Treyarch and the game devs didn't have to deal with the honest-to-god tyranny of the Bobs, I think this game would get a lot more respect, and really that's respect it deserves. It's important though that we continue to speak our minds, and please speak with your wallets. Don't buy the Battle Pass or the Season Pass, whatever they're calling it this year. If you like the skill-based matchmaking, sure, get it. But my bet is you don't like skill-based matchmaking. And if we continue to speak with our wallets, the stockholders in Activision are going to see that. They're going to see the outcry on YouTube. Small channels like me, big channels like Blame Truth and NeuroCinema. They're going to see it and eventually have to change. But the money has the money talks louder than these videos. I also want to make it clear that we also need to pay our respects to the devs and representatives at Treyarch. They are doing their best to give us what we all want, is, which is a fun Call of Duty game, and fighting those battles with Activision for us. They're the guys coming into the office and having to deal with that Bob coming over to their desk and telling them, hey, I want you to crank up the skill-based matchmaking today. You understand me, right? That shit happens in real life. Whether or not you believe it, whether or not you've even considered that, that's a reality of the world we live in. And those devs are putting up with that shit every day. So it's not Treyarch's fault. They're given the shittiest plate in the world. So please do give them a little bit of credit. Uh, this is Activision's fault. It's Activision's patent. It's Activision that is ruining our game. I know it was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed this discussion. It was a little bit more of a rant than a discussion, but hopefully, yet again, it's another voice in this crowd of people calling for skill-based matchmaking to be taken down. Uh, just remember, next time you want that premium skin that costs $5, you're supporting the game as it is, rather than the game as it should be. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing or checking out my Twitch, which is all linked down below, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye for now.